that what we should be doing is shunning these people. Shunning, shaming these people is a statement of moral indignation that these people are not fit for polite society. Burn down the Republican Party. Um, we have to level them because if there are survivors, if there are people who weather this storm, they will do it again. Trump can still live in a version of the bubble that he and the 69 million morons who voted for him have lived in since 2015. Inside Trump world, it's fun and exciting, and there's no pandemic, and nothing but white people, and lots of guns, and everybody will be a billionaire soon. There are a lot of friends who I had to really get rid of, because they, they are so nonsensical. When it comes to this issue, they have the whole, every single talking point that they hear on state TV, and that they hear from this president. They repeat it, and they are blinded by it. I just, I have to get rid of a lot of people in my life because sometimes you just have to let them go. I think that they have to hit rock bottom like an addict, right? And they have to want to get help. And then he and his enablers and his supporters and his collaborators and the Mike Lees and the William Barrs and the Sean Hannity's and the Mike Pence's and the Rudy Giuliani's and the Kyle Rittenhouse's and the Amy Coney Barrett's must be prosecuted and convicted and removed from our society while we try to rebuild it. Now, this president, one of the things that he really launched his presidential run on is talking about Islamic radical radicalization. And this president has radicalized so many more people than ISIS ever did. He has opened up for offshore drilling and he has said yes to the oil companies. They can drill in the Arctic National Wildlife Preserve. Donald Trump threatens the existence of human life, of all life on this planet. And on November 3rd, we will hold Donald Trump accountable. That the fight is not just to win an election, but to win it by enough to chase, at least for a moment, Trump and the maggots off the stage and then try to clean up what they left. Remember it, even though to remember it means remembering that the fight does not end November 3rd, but in many ways, will only begin that day. They will do it again. They will take this as confirmation that, hey, it just pays to ride the waves. Country has to repudiate this. It is not a normal administration. And when these people say, oh, you can't criticize us, it will deter public service. <laughs> it will deter people who are liars, right. who are enablers, um, <laughs> who are really bad people, and they should be deterred. Yeah. They don't get to escape accountability.